everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Cars Raiders going up against Rodgers Packers. With that, we send you up to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, where Brandon Godden and Charles Davis have the call. Gentlemen. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Oakland Raiders and the Green Bay Packers. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Again, it's Murray. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Defense may be trying to guess the snap count there, and it costs them five yards. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Throwing his car on third down. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years? In the NFL, the better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. So here we go, first and ten now. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Car now on first down. Brought in by Walford, right side. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. As we get a glance at these starters, Michael Crabtree is the man we highlighted wide receiver. Phenomenal hands, so strong. When the ball gets to him, it just dies right there, and then he's able to do things with it after he catches it. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. One back is Lacey. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Off the play fake to Lacey. Here's Rodgers. He's got time in the pocket. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 
They stay on the ground. This time it's Lacey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Danny Lacey, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have taken the early lead. And it's good to make it 7-0, Packers. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. A great effort there. 95 yards. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. A couple of years ago, Cobb signed that four-year, $40 million deal. Since then, the numbers have been down a little bit, although last year only played 13 games. Yeah, and I wouldn't be as concerned with the, the numbers dropping if I were a Packers fan because, remember, Devontae Adams has developed as a player and his numbers have gone up. You got Jordy Nelson back to full health in 2016. He's going to catch a lot of passes. Almost caught 100 in that season. Jared Cook at tight end. That's a new weapon Green Bay didn't have for a while. And don't forget, Randall Cobb spent some time as a running back when all the injuries hit the backfield. So his versatility is still a major plus for Green Bay. Rodgers now to throw. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Shift together here from the D-line. Now a first down carry. It's Lacey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Rodgers to throw on second down. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And the 2016 NFL Comeback Player of the Year was Jordy Nelson. He had a fantastic year after the knee injury in 2015. Well over 1,000 yards again. And once again, he was the number one target for Aaron Rodgers. NFL high, 14 receiving touchdowns. What dimension does he add that makes them so good on offense? Dependability as well as speed. All right, Jordy Nelson's the type of guy who can run any route you want. Yet he can also take the top off of a defense, as we like to say, by running past people. It's a heck of a combination to deal with. Plus, Aaron Rodgers knows when he gets in trouble, he just looks for Jordy Nelson, and 9.9 .9 times out of 10, he'll find a way to get open. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. One back is Lacey. 
Now they'll run it on the toss. Shreds the tackle. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Call it a gain of 4, and it'll leave him with a third down and 6 to go. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. It's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jordy Nelson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. That was second down run for Murray. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Murray had the 1,000-yard season in 2015, followed that up with 788 last year. Now also in the mix in Oakland, you had Washington, you had Richard. How do you see this backfield playing out going forward? I think you'll see a similar combination going forward. I think that's one of the reasons that he dropped from a 1,000-yard runner to 788 because they had other options. They were able to bring in Washington, Richard. They can use different plays for those guys, a lot of versatility, and really upgrade their offense with an infusion of speed. But Latavius Murray, I think he'll still continue to be the lead guy out of that trio. Murray the lone set back. Carl tried again on second down. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts. And now it's third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Throwing his car on third down. Trying for his tight end, Rivera, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Morgan Burnett. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Rodgers now on first down. And complete right side to Cook. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice <laughs> game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. On second down, Lacey. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And a good little broken tackle run there for the former second-round pick, Eddie Lacy. He's a big back, and he runs with some power and definitely with some physicality. And enough of those types of runs as they accumulate, they turn into bigger runs later because after a while, guys don't want to deal with him. They stay on the ground on first down with Lacy. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Mario Edwards Jr. there to bring him down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a just a big, big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And then you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> He'll set up the screen to Lacey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. To throw, it's Rodgers. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on, come on. Fine. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. He's going to look deep down the field. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's get back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Car to throw on second down. Here's Wolford over the middle. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On first down, Murray. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. 
and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect. But overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. They'll get a couple yards back, but not more than that. They'll be left with 12 yards to go on third down. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They do go for it. It's Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former first-round pick, D.J. Hayden. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. They go with Murray again. And he's got some space here. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now they'll throw with Carr. Walford's got it. Complete. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And now they're in the hurry up. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Now Carr. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Seth Roberts from three yards out. And the Raiders take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Ooh, with a juke. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. I'll just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. It's a pickup of 14 there. 
And that leads to a Green Bay first. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Rodgers now to throw. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Sean Smith. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. A nice pick up there. Ten yards and it'll move the sticks. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And this is going to be Packer football. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And Cook has it, left side. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And there they went crossing route against his own defense. What do you think of that? Takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Now a play fake here on first down. Touchdown, Packers! Jared Cook, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it down here and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. They come out here in the eye. Here's Carr to throw, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. They run with Washington. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Here we go on fourth down with Carr. Steps away to his left. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Back now at Lambeau. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. And they're definitely showing blitz here. All right, here we go. They pitch it out to Murray. 
And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. The tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. Second down following the run. Shift together here from the D-line. Hard to throw on second down. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And quickly, they get to the line. Tenth carry of the game now. Murray. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? And almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Offense looks to punch it in here from the one on second and goal. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. He loses four, and it brings up four. It went for broke on third down, and it would have really lit up the sideline if that one had worked. What do they do now on fourth down? And no movement for the field goal unit to break this tie. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and goal. Here we go. And he motions the wide receiver. And the play clock's running down. Card to throw for it on fourth down. That's caught at the three. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Johnny Holden from four yards out. And the Raiders have moved out in front. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score board watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Off the 
Play fake to Lacey. Here's Rodgers. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Around two minutes to go, and if the D can hold them, that'll end this one. We always think about the offense attacking. In this case, I'm looking for the defense to do the same. Back to throw. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. We always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. And he is going to lose you. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They come out here in the eye. Here's Carr. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone is going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Back to throw. Carr. He finds Roberts complete. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Well, for two. And now the Packers are going to take another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. to give to Murray, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28, and play is stopped here, timeout, it's the defense calling the timeout here, that'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Carr going to look to throw, and this one's incomplete, Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. Defense needs 11, have to think pass here on third down. They come up in an offset eye. On third down, here's Washington. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. All right, here we go. Red, They'll try and run with Murray. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. And the back goes into motion. Back to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. 319! 319! Hurry up, hurry up! He'll look to 
throw. And oh, it's complete. What a catch at the seven. A good pick up there of 20 yards. You know, you and I talk a lot about the incredible receivers in the NFL. Catches like that, they validate our point. Each and every time. That's why teams are looking for defensive backs to get. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call in this, in effect, is your ball game right here. He's back to throw. That's caught at the three. And he will not get into the end zone. The defense makes the stop of the game on the two-point try, and they might just get out of here with a win after all. a penalty flag down. Oh, Charles, that ball didn't go 10 yards. That's why the flag comes out here. And you know they changed the rule a few years ago, Brandon. Now you only get that one shot as a kicking team to get it right. Now the receiving team will just possess the football. Great spot to start this drive from here. They'll come up now in the Wildcat package. Let's go! On the direct snap, Murray. And some room to maneuver. Cuts back, left sideline. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. They snap it direct. This is Murray. And that formation won't yield much here as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard. You're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one.